Good morning, brothers and sisters. I have to make this quick because I'm running out of time on my um, my video storage. <clears throat> this is very important today. I am coming on to um, reveal a couple of things that the Lord gave to me in a couple of dreams that He granted me. Um, just so you're aware, the Lord has instructed me to wear my head covering when I'm giving a um, a very important uh, message to the body of Christ and to the saints and I am wearing my head covering but I wanted the focus to be on this particular image um, because the Lord is revealing to us that we need to suit up with the full armor of God and literally um, prepare for spiritual battle. I'm going to um, uh, proceed as quickly as possible so I'm going to get started. First, I want to start today with a plea to the body of Christ and to the saints. Please, for those who have an ear to hear, hear what the Holy Spirit is revealing. Please hear. A plea for repentance. Unfortunately, the conduct of the body of Christ has continually reached our Father's throne. Indeed, just as it is written, some have gone about their own way and scattered his flock. There will be great recompense for the practices of iniquity, and the high will be brought low in that day. For it is also written, we are to treat each member's gift with equality. I truly pray the Lord has mercy on our brethren who continually bring disruption to the house of God. Please repent and faithfully seek counsel with the Lord directly. I cannot emphasize that word more than I already have repeatedly. That is instruction from the Lord. Do not lean on your own understanding. Seek Him directly and patiently for your confirmations. Today, I speak forth a dream in which the Lord instructs me to sound the alarm for scarcity is at the door. In Revelation chapter 5, verses 5 through 6, it is written, Scarcity comes before the mega earthquake. Scarcity comes suddenly, as does the day of the Lord. In the third seal, it is uh, highlighted as scarcity on earth. When he opened the third seal, I heard the third living creature say, Come and see. So I looked and behold a black horse, and he who sat on it had a pair of scales in his hand. And I heard a voice in the midst of the four living creatures saying, A quart of wheat for a denarius, and three quarts of barley for a denarius, and do not harm the oil and the wine. <clears throat> From this dream, the Lord wants me to convey an encouraging message to His children, all His children. That is, do not be afraid. Be still and indeed know that He is God. He indeed is coming for His faithful. Put on the full armor of God now if you have not already. Faithfully, excuse me, put on the full armor of God now faithfully as written in Ephesians Chapter 6, verses 10 through 20. If you have not read that, please familiarize yourselves with that um, written word because it is very, very crucial, especially for the day of the Lord. The Lord has instructed me to voice to all His children to be prepared. In this dream, He showed me Noah preparing for the great flood. He reminded me during the dream that in the days of Noah, they did not have the luxury of having grocery stores. He had to adhere to the Lord's instruction and His voice. The Lord is instructing for His children to equip your homes with essentials such as water, means of warmth, protein, spiritual candles for light, and your Bibles, among